people of YouTube, my name is Steve Gray. This is Gray's Guitars. Thank you for watching. Today we have probably a shorter video, but something very interesting nevertheless. And that is the title of this news article. You read that right. Yep, you, you read that right. Dad in Ohio shoots son because he wouldn't stop playing guitar court docs says so a 79 year old blue ash man is accused of shooting his son because he wouldn't stop playing the guitar court record show what i want to know is how old is the son if this guy is 79 years old how old is the son he's got he's got to be in you know like thir 30s to 40s somewhere in that range even possibly 50s we don't know WXIX reported that it happened Sunday at home on Muller Road, according to Blue Ash Police. Uh, Fred Joan Hensley Sir was charged in a felonious assault based on the officer's investigation, including a verbal statement of the suspect who said he shot his son with a 38. Point three, I think it's a 38 caliber pistol. I'm bad with guns because he would not stop playing his guitar. Police wrote in criminal complaint. He also faces a domestic violence charge. Henley Sir said he was tired of his son playing the guitar for over an hour. Henley Sir, he he was the only he was only trying to shoot the guitar, but ended up shooting his st son in the right side of his stomach. The son then assaulted his father while waiting for emergency personnel to arrive. Police wrote in. Uh, Affidavit, words I can't pronounce. He was booked to the Hamilton County Justice Center on Sunday night. He is scheduled to face a judge Monday. So I think that's a little bit of an overreaction to your kid playing guitar badly, I assume, if you're going to shoot the guitar. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's bad. Like, uh, at the same time, if this is one of those, oh, I'm going to be famous, dad, don't worry about it. And this dude's like 45 to 50, uh, and he doesn't have an actual job. Uh, that guy needs to give up on his dreams and go get a job and move out of his dad's house. Uh, as I said, this man is 79 years old. That means I'm guessing bare minimum, his son is probably 40. And if you have a 40 year old son living at home uh, at that point, you know, it's like, g get out of my house, please. Like, go, go live your life. It's like, you don't want to kick out your kid, but at the same time, you, you, you just want that empty nest because you don't know what it feels like. I assume, I don't know. I don't have any kids at this present moment, but, uh, it's kind of crazy. That is, that is kind of crazy. And it reminds me of this bullet hole Les Paul. Uh, so I don't think they made an actual edition of it. Uh, I believe it is from the anime Beck. Uh, yeah, there's the character right there. And it says, Lucille is a 1958 Gibson Les Paul standard with seven bullet holes in it. It used to belong to a guitarist called Sunboy Waters, who was shot by a man during a fight over a woman named Lucille while he was performing at a bar. The story might have been inspired by an event that happened to the famous blues musician B.B. King. In 1949, a dance hall in which... His playing suddenly caught fire because of a fight. Remembering he had left his guitars inside, BB King ran through the fire to save it, and only and the next day he learned that the cause of the fire between the two men was a woman named Lucille. From that day on, every guitar he played was given the name Lucille, and Gibson even dedicated to him a guitar with that same name. So, uh, I believe the anime is called Beck. I think it's called Beck. Yeah, Beck Mongolian Chop Squad. So that's kind of cool. I don't think this is the uh, the look his dad was uh, going for at that point in time. Yeah, even Trogley did one. I don't believe this is like an actual signature guitar, but um, I have been seeing people shoot up Les Pauls lately to mimic that guitar or drill holes through it. Um, and all I have to say is please do not ruin your guitar in this fashion. Please do not shoot your children. Uh, it's it, It's not that hard. Don't shoot your kids. Uh, don't shoot people playing guitar. Just just don't shoot at people, not unless they're invading your home and threatening to hurt your family. Uh, at that point, yeah, for free game. You go right ahead. Um, and, oh, yeah, rapists, murderers, 
Um, uh, the, the, the child molesters, all of those go into that shoot them in the face category as well. By, by all means, like I'm not even zero restraint, just, just right to the face. Um, but, uh, don't shoot your kids, even if they're playing guitar terribly. Uh, don't shoot up your guitar to make it look like an anime guitar, uh, preferably because this is going to devalue your Les Paul, uh, severely, unless somebody really likes that anime. And in, in which case maybe they'll be, uh, you'll find a sucker that is willing to pay more for. I don't think there's an actual edition of this guitar out. Uh, to my knowledge, I think it's just like fans like kind of like destroying their guitars. But uh, is what it is. Quick video. We're going to leave it at that. Do not shoot your children, no matter how bad they play guitar. Tell them, plug in a headset, get them like a Line 6 pod or something. Uh, some sort of audio interface to plug into so you don't have to hear them. Uh, and problem solved. Medical bill solved. No jail time for you. My name is Steve Gray. This is Gray's Guitars. Thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one.